How to read the chaotic table by Colin, Jose, and Portia. Hey guys, this is Glenn, and he wants to know how to read the chaotic table. And this is Sally. She's going to teach Glenn how to read it. First off, Sally thinks Glenn should know what the atomic number and mass is in an element. So let's take lithium, for example. Look at the number three. That is the atomic number, and it tells you the number of protons and electrons. The number 6.941 is the atomic mass. It tells you the number of protons and neutrons. To get the atomic mass of neutrons, if a decimal, you would round to the nearest whole number and subtract by the atomic number. So lithium would have three protons and four neutrons. Another thing Glenn should know is the periods that will tell you the number of energy levels the atom has. So lithium, for example, would have to be two energy levels. Also, Glenn should know the groups. They tell you the number of electrons in the valence shell. So lithium would have one valence electron in the valence shell. The different groups are alkali metals, alkaline earth metals, transition metals, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, halogens, and noble gases. Also, Glenn should know metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. The metals are in the yellow. They are majority of the periodic table and good conductors of electric current and heat. The metalloids are in the orange. There are elements with properties that fall between those of metals and nonmetals. And the nonmetals are in <laughs> Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> Metals are in the green. They have properties opposite to those metals. 